If you'd like to use third-party VST instruments or effects with Mixcraft or Mixcraft Pro Studio, it's usually as easy as installing the plugin and then running Mixcraft. Please note that Mixcraft can only use 32-bit plugins. Let's run through a couple different scenarios you might experience in order to get your plugin working with Mixcraft. When you download a VST effect or virtual instrument, it may come in the form of an installer or it may come as a zipped DLL file. We'll cover the zipped DLL scenario first. I have downloaded a free Reverb plugin which is currently in zipped file format. It's called Freeverb. Now Windows comes with its own zip utility which just requires you to right click on any zipped file and choose extract. I am using a zip utility called WinRAR so I will right click and choose extract to Freeverb which is going to create a new folder with the same name as the zip file. Within that folder are two files, a PDF manual and the actual plugin DLL. So I will back up and what I'm going to do is right click on that new folder and choose cut. Then I'm going to use my computer icon which is Windows Explorer and I'm going to choose a folder for all of my plugins to reside in and generally that's going to be C program files x86 VST. Now if you don't have this folder yet you might want to create it because a lot of plugins are going to want to install there. It's a pretty general location for VST files. So we'll go into that VST folder and I will right click and paste. Now I have the free verb inside my VST folder. The next thing I'll do is run Mixcraft and then I'm going to click the preferences button and go to the plugins area and click the edit VST VSTI folders button. What I'm going to do here is add C program files x86 VST. Notice that path is now in the list and Mixcraft will search that folder for new VSTs every time I run the program. Click OK. Click OK again. Click the effects button on any track. Click select an effect and we'll see that the free verb is now in the list and ready for use. Now if your new VST has an installer like this one, all you need to do is double click that file, click run, and this is a VSTi which means it's an instrument and it's called Nerve. So I will install that, agree to the license agreement, and here they allow you to browse for a destination folder where the plugin will be installed but since it is already showing our folder of choice I'm going to leave that alone and click next. Install click finish and since I already added that folder to Mixcraft's custom VST folders list all I have to do is run Mixcraft and since Nerve is a virtual instrument I will click the piano icon on any instrument track choose VSTi instruments, scroll down, and there it is ready for use. In some cases you may have a plugin installer that does not allow you to choose the destination folder, in which case you'll need to add its installation folder to Mixcraft's custom list. I'll click preferences, plugins, edit VST, VSTi folders, and I'm going to add C Awesome Noisemaker because I downloaded it and installed it and that's where it installed. And now Awesome Noisemaker will also show up in the effects list. Have fun with your effects and virtual instruments and thanks for watching.